Now, when I talked to some of the other soldiers, and they, they came back, and it was a real tough transition mm -hmm. to come back, you know, into this lifestyle. Did, did you suffer with any of that? or uh, Certainly. Um, it's, you know, you come back, most come back with a little bit of resentment or maybe anger, you know, towards certain people. Um, you mean here? Here. Um, then, you know, as far as family goes, you come back, the wife, she's been taking care of all the problems for a year, year and a half, and then you as, uh, as the husband wants to come home and pick up where everything left off, and she's like, well, you know, back up a minute, you know, we, you know, I've been dealing with this, you know, so, and then some of the things she just read, you know, like, here, it's yours. I'm, <laughs> so I've been doing this for a while, it's right. your turn. Yeah. And uh, it's just it's an adjustment. Our service have a program to help you transition to that, or do they just say they, they do? And, and it's getting better, cause it, you know, with each one, it you know they learn things as we go. Most service members though don't like to use those services because they're kind of a stigma that goes along with it. Well, I'm wondering if the the soldiers don't want to admit that they exactly they they don't you know. Most soldiers don't want to admit that they have a problem just simply because, you know, if, if a soldier comes up and says, well, hey, I have this problem, then they're afraid that somebody in the background is going to consider them a coward or...